the first step to self-love is getting over the need for approval and validation. When you seek approval and validation, this is the furthest thing from self-love, King. Because what you are saying is you need the world or a woman or family members or friends to love you before you can love yourself. You need the world or friends or family members to accept you before you can accept yourself. Right? So the first thing you need to be working on to love yourself more, right? And to truly love yourself is getting over giving a fuck about what others think about you. I know you hear it all the time, but I'm trying to tell you, it's true. You cannot love yourself if you care what others think about you. Because you, that means your self-value is based on others' opinions. Right? Based on how others see you and where other values you at is based on how you value yourself. For example, when I had zero subscribers and zero views, my value of myself how I view myself and how I looked at myself did not change. Because whether you guys watch or not, I know the value I bring. I know the value I put into my videos and the value I share to the world. Even if this shit goes back to zero views and zero subscribers. Just because I know myself, I am self-aware and I love myself. So my value is not based on who watches my videos. My, my value is not based on who subscribe and how many subscribers I have, right? And you have to apply this to your life and learning yourself and love yourself. I give people quick hacks in how to get over caring about what others think. And one of the hacks I tell people all the time is whatever you care about of other people thinking about you, learn to do the opposite of that. So let me give you an example. Let's say you care that people always have to see you dressed up in the nicest outfit. To begin to get over that and stop being a slave to that, learn to feel comfortable around people not dressing up, right? Let them see you on a quote unquote bad day. Because if you care about people always seeing you at your best, you are a slave to that mentality. And they have that power over you because they know, shit, you care what they think. And they might not even know this. Right? Because you'll be surprised how many people really don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> for real, for real. So, when you put your value in others' value of yourself... That means you truly do not value yourself at all. That means if the world loves me today, I love myself. If this woman thinks I'm alpha, I feel alpha. If this woman thinks I'm beta, I feel beta. Right? Sorry, I'm just, I'm just in thought, man, because... You know, I really hate to see that. And I really want to get you guys to a point where, which I hope I'm doing with this, these videos, get you guys to a point where you learn over the semen retention, over the no fab, over the female nature videos, bro. It starts with self-love, bro. Fuck all that other shit, bro. You can, you can have sex. You can watch porn. You can fucking deal with women. But if you don't have self-love, bro, all those things don't mean shit. You can be doing semen retention. You can be doing no fap. You can be fucking hip to female nature. But if you don't love yourself, bro, I mean, truly love yourself. Meaning the world don't have to love you first for you to love yourself. I love myself whether the world loves me or not. None of that shit means anything. It's just irrelevant. I would rather you love yourself then do semen retention. I would rather you love yourself than do no fat. And it's funny because doing these things show you how to love yourself, right? So I'm not dissing them. I love, you know, I love this shit, man. I love semen retention. I love no fat. I'm just using that as an example where I would choose you loving yourself even over semen retention and no fat. Because loving yourself is ultimately going to leave you back to semen retention and no fat, <laughs> right? 
So the best advice I can give you is learn to get over caring about what other people think because it's just opinions, man. When you're dead in the grave, none of that shit is going to matter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they're not paying your bills. And even if they are paying your bills, that shit still don't matter, King. Because at the end of the day, all that matters is how you view yourself. They got a quote where they say, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're probably right. And that just shows you how much power we have within ourselves to have the mentality that if you don't believe you can, then you probably can't. If you believe you can, then you can, right? The power is all in your hands of how you view yourself. So ultimately, semen retention is amazing for self-love because it teaches you to learn to value your body as your temple, which it is, value your penis, your semen, your number one life source, right? Respect yourself and hold yourself to a higher standard. So continue on your semen retention journey. If you're new here, welcome to your semen retention journey. And if you're not on semen retention, but you're thinking about giving it a try, what are you waiting on? What do you have to lose? You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, King. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Welcome to the Alpha Nation. Also, share with your friends and families. Let's help get these videos out to help men become the more alpha version of themselves and become overall better men. Also, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. The link is down in the description if you wanna to talk to me on video. We could talk about anything from no fat, semen retention, female nature, or just life, man. You know, come chop it up with me on video, man. Till next time, love y'all, Alpha Sincere. Salute.